SpaceX started the year 2021 by achieving a weird milestone. They've sent human ashes to space. Yes, Elon Musk's space company sent human remains into lower Earth orbit in partnership with the funeral home company Celestis. But in addition to that, SpaceX created another record, deploying the most number of spacecraft in one mission. In the mission, their Falcon 9 rocket carried 143 spacecraft into Earth's orbit, surpassing the mark of 104 set by the Indian Space Research Organization back in 2017. On top of that, not all of the spacecrafts were SpaceX's. It included compact nano and micro satellites from a range of different countries and corporations. With this mission, SpaceX marked the first dedicated mission of the company's small sat rideshare program. But what exactly is SpaceX's rideshare program? Well, in this video, we will be having a brief look at it. Let's start with the basics. The technology we are now roaming within our pockets would take a full room of equipment in the 80s. So back then, the satellites were also huge, weighing staggeringly over 1,000 kilograms. They had to be huge so that they could withstand the rough environment of outer space. And when it came to launching, there wasn't that much of a choice but to carry the whole cost of building a rocket that would carry the satellite into space with a launching cost too and there was no option of reusability then. The estimation of the cost could go as high as $400 million. But with the advancement in technology, the satellite industry began to develop, and there surfaced a new popular model, the small satellites. So any satellite under the 500 kilogram range falls into the small satellite category. In this category, the ones that are getting the most attention are the type of nanosatellites, weighing less than 10 kilograms, known as CubeSat. These small satellites are becoming really popular, according to the Swedish space technology company AAC Microtech, estimates that by 2023, the number of small satellites launched per year will rise to more than 500 from what it is now at 200. Being small, they were generally piggybacked on rocket launches dedicated to the International Space Station. From there, they were deployed into space, either by using a deployer, or astronauts would simply throw them in their spacewalk. But as many private companies are getting into the space exploration industry, so satellite companies are pairing up with them, leaving the government missions which cost higher. The cost of launching them has also come down. SpaceX's Falcon 9 offers the lowest launch costing a bit over $50 million. But even after that, to launch a satellite of 10 kilograms into space with that price tag is too much. That's why SpaceX was facing some competition as some companies started working to bring down the price much further. Eventually, a new kid in the space launching game named the Rocket Lab showed up. This Los Angeles-based company is the first private company dedicated to small satellites. They're planning to revolutionize the global space industry with their lightweight, cost-effective rocket named Electron, making it easier for companies to launch small satellites into orbit. In comparison to SpaceX's $50 million plus per launch, Rocket Lab is offering $7 million dedicated to per launch. This represented a drastic cost reduction compared to existing dedicated launch services. If many CubeSats share the ride, the cost for the smallest ones could be in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. The Electron is built of carbon composite, which saves mass, and its engines are made using 3D printers, which saves labor. The fuel tanks are 40% lighter than traditional metal tanks, saving up fuel to carry them. So all of these contribute to holding down costs for Rocket Lab. The innovation behind Electron will release the limitations on launching small satellites, said Peter Beck, CEO Rocket Lab. Rocket Lab performed three Electron launches between late October and mid-December. This company can accommodate a launch rate of 120 flights per year and is licensed for a launch to occur every 72 hours. So with Rocket Lab as good competition, SpaceX is also stepping up into the game. 
SpaceX announced a rideshare program for launching satellites, an initiative designed to make it easier and cheaper for smaller satellite operators to reach orbit. As the name suggests, the initiative resembles a kind of Uber pool for satellites, allowing different operators to hitch a ride into space on the same rocket and split the cost, rather than having to invest upwards of $50 million to charter an individual rocket. Simply, the rideshare missions serve as a way for SpaceX to tap into the booming demand for getting small satellites into orbit. Okay, that is innovative of SpaceX. But what about the cost? Is it low enough to compete with others? Under the SmallSat rideshare program costs only $1 million to send a 200-kilogram spacecraft into low Earth orbit. That is quite low compared to Rocket Lab's $7 million per launch. And several companies can share one spot of 200 kilograms, as nanosats weigh around 10 kilograms, which will lower the $1 million mark even down. The relative affordability of the program is linked to the design of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket. It is partially reusable. The most expensive part of the rocket, the first stage booster, comes back to the Earth to be used for other missions. We've got boosters now that have flown 10 times, and some that are slated to fly 20 or possibly 30 times, according to Elon Musk. And not only that it's a win-win for Elon Musk, SpaceX has been deploying its own Starlink satellites into orbit for their satellite broadband service, and each Starlink launch mission costs SpaceX around $45 million. As they're planning to create a huge constellation of Starlink satellites, it will cost a lot. But in the first rideshare launch, 10 Starlink satellites also hitched the ride. So with this rideshare program, SpaceX will be sending their ones for free as the other companies will be paying for the launch. Elon Musk, this man has quite the business brain. Though the number of Starlink satellites deployed will be less than what it usually is, it will be a free ride. This rideshare will surely mean a massive thing for the small sat industry. But how much competition does it give to Rocket Lab? As all of the spacecraft are going to the same orbit, SpaceX will have to wait until all the spots in the rocket are full to launch. But in this fast world, many customers wouldn't like to wait and will surely search for some alternatives. Where they can find Rocket Lab, which offers a dedicated launch. And Rocket Lab is focusing on reusability, which can reduce their cost down. But it seems SpaceX doesn't have to worry about the competition yet. Customer demand has been extremely strong. Demand is growing, said Jared McLaughlin, senior manager of Rideshare. And SpaceX is working on the biggest and fully reusable rocket, Starship, which will launch 240 satellites at a time, whereas Falcon 9 carries 60 max. And with that full reusability option, the cost to launch a small satellite can come down from $1 million to $5,000. All these advancements are, of course, a step in the ladder for Elon Musk to take humanity to Mars and inhabit the Red Planet. That's all for now. I hope you've learned all about SpaceX's new satellite launch program. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't and turn on notifications so you're up to date on the channel's updates. See you in the next video!